Hi friends! My name is Miss Ann Smith and I teach cello and double bass for Piano Central Studios. Today, this video is going to be telling you all about the really cool things that the cello and the double bass can do. Now what I'm holding is the cello. The cello is the third in the lineup for the string instrument family. First comes the violin, then the viola, and then the cello. Now the cello is special because the cello you hold with your knees. But what's really important to hold that cello up is this cool piece at the end of it called the end pin. Now I took my end pin out, but let me show you how I put it in. The end pin has a special little notch down here that it stays in. And it comes in and out and it adjusts based on your height. Now I'm gonna put mine out ready to play. And let's move up the cello and learn about some of the parts. So one of this, this big block of wood, that's hollow, thankfully, is called the body of the cello. Now the body of the cello is what the sound comes out of when we play. So the body of the cello is very important. We wouldn't have a cello without the body. Now let's move up a little bit. This piece down here is called a tail piece. And the tail piece helps with the projection of the sound and carrying the vibrations of the tones we're playing. And then we have this important these important parts right here these are our strings and we have four strings on the cello and four strings also on the bass the cello strings are a d g and c and the bass is g d a and e so little different strings well here we have the bridge and the bridge holds up those strings as we move up we have this big black piece. You might be like, what's that called? I don't know. I know there's fingers play on it. Well, the word fingers in it, because yes, our fingers do play on it. It is called our fingerboard. And our fingerboard is where our left hand always plays. So we have different positions in cello that you learn when you um, start taking lessons. You first start off in first position. Here's where first position is. <laughs> first position. First position is the same on every string. And then after you master first position, we slowly work our way up the fingerboard and you can experience all the different tones that the fingerboard has to offer. Well, as we move up, let's finish with two more parts. These black knobs right here are called pegs and pegs are very important because they help us tune our cello. If our cello wasn't in tune, then our music could sound funny. So I'm very thankful for my pegs. To finish off for now, this very top part, if you can kind of see, is called the scroll. And the scroll is just a fancy little top of our cello and it's wrapped around wood that's carved to look like the end of a scroll. Well, let's talk about the sound of the cello. The cello is able to make really nice and low sounds like this. able to make super high sounds. That's what's really neat about the cello. The cello is super beautiful because it's able to play really melancholy, low, sad music, but it can also play super fast and happy music. <laughs> cabbage down which some of you might recognize and that's an example of a happy piece well the cello you don't only play with this piece of wood I'm holding with horse hair on it this is called the bow so we have a stick of wood and then we attach horse hair to produce the sound and to make our sound come out we have to put something called rosin on our bow and rosin looks like amber if you know what amber is a rock so it's kind of like this caramely color and it's a solid and you rub it up and down the stick and it turned into a powder when you rub it on and then it makes your stick all nice and sticky if you want to say so it can grip the strings rosin's very important for our playing well 
To finish off, I'm going to play a little bit of a famous cello piece you might recognize by Johann Sebastian Bach. He wrote many pieces for cello called the Cello Suites. There's six of them and they each have multiple movements. So I'm going to play the first movement of his first suite and this movement's called Prelude and I want to see if you recognize you'd be here a lot longer. But that's just a pretty piece by Bach and that's an example of some nice legato calming playing that the cello can do. Now if you want to hear more you're gonna to have to sign up for cello lessons. So if you're interested in playing the cello or the double bass please contact the Piano Central Studio office. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to maybe see you in lesson soon. Bye!